Then we'll have something where you have to know the difference between negative three squared, where the negative three is in the parentheses, or negative three squared. The first one is negative three times negative three, which equals nine. The second one is negative three times three, which is negative nine. Make sure you know the difference between the two. Then we'll have something like negative four times negative two. We have a negative times a negative, so it's positive eight. We have 12 divided by negative four. We're gonna have a negative, and 12 divided by four is three. We have a negative number divided by a negative number, say negative 15 divided by negative three, it's gonna be a positive, and 15 divided by three is five. If we have any number, let's say 79 divided by one, that equals just that same number. So here, 79. Let's say we have 1345 over zero, that's undefined. Follow the directions on the test of what to type in if something is undefined. If we have any number, say negative 35 divided by negative 35, any number divided by itself is one, even if it's a positive number, say six divided by six, that's also one. We have zero over any number, no matter how big it is, say it's zero divided by eight, nine, four, seven, that's going to equal zero. Then, if we have a longer one, say we have 20, minus 20 divided by five plus two times three. So we have to do the order of operations. So we're gonna do the multiplication and the divisions at the same time. So we have 20 minus 20 divided by five is four. And then we have a plus two times three is six. Now we can do everything in order. 20 minus four is 16 plus six equals 22. Let's say we have two times three squared minus 12 divided by three. First thing we do is exponents. So two times three times three is nine minus 12 divided by three. Now we have to do our multiplication and division at the same time. So we're gonna have 18 minus four and that equals 14. Then let's say we have one that is a lot bigger. Let's say we have 10 minus, in parentheses, three minus nine, that squared, close the brackets, divided by parentheses, three squared plus two squared. So we have to do what's in the inside brackets first. So I'm gonna do what's in this inside bracket as well as what's in this, what's inside and the exponents in here. So I'm gonna have a 10 minus negative six squared divided by inside here, we have to do the um, exponents first. So nine plus four. Now we have to do what's the exponent on this one, 10 minus 36 divided by what's in here is, we don't need the uh, parentheses anymore, 13. So now we need to um, do what's inside this parenthesis. 10 minus 36 is negative 26 divided by 13 and that equals negative two. Then you're gonna be asked to turn an improper fraction into a mixed numeral. Let's say that we have 22 over nine. So we just need to divide that. Nine into 22 goes two times, two times nine is 18. We have four left over, 
So we just put 4 over 9. Going the opposite way, let's say we have 9 and 2 thirds. We're going to multiply 3 times 9 is 27, plus 2 is 29, and it's still over 3. Then we have something like 20 over 28, and we need to reduce that. So the biggest number that will go into both of those is 4. So we're going to divide each by 4, and we're going to get 5 over 7. Then we're going to be doing some operations on fractions. Say we have 3 over 7 minus 1 over 3. We need to find the common denominator. The least common denominator here is 21. So we're going to multiply the first one by 3 over 3. The second one by 7 over 7. We're going to get 9 over 21 minus 7 over 21 and be left with 2 over 21. Then let's say we have 4 over 5 minus 9 over 20. The least common denominator here is 20. We already have it once, so we just need to change this one. Multiply it by 4 over 4. We're going to get 16 over 20 minus 9 over 20, which will give us 7 over 20. Alright, that's it for part 1. Come back for part 2.